In the last video, I was showing you how you can write a text file in vb.net. In this video, I will be following up on that and actually showing you how you can read from a file in vb.net. So, if you wanted to go over to Visual Studio and create a new project, I'll be calling it File Reader. And if you just want to make sure it's a Windows Form application, and click OK. And in this, we will be needing a button and a text box. We make it a bit big. Um, so we're going to go ahead and change the name that shows up when you actually run it. Uh, just there. So we're going to do this by clicking on that and scrolling down to where it says text. We can name this file reader. And we can also change the name of the button. Read file. And when we click this button, what's going to happen is it's going to read a text file that we've got and put it in this box. I've actually gone and created a shopping list. Um, it's not very really useful, but it's just as an example of why we might want to do this. So if you wanted to double click the button, uh, we can go ahead and import system.ina and then dim file reader as new system.io stream reader this time and then we can have the location for the file um, mine's actually located on the desktop so if you just wanted to go over to that copy the directory because I'm lazy and shopping list txt Make sure it's right. Yep. Check my stop today. So yeah. Uh, once we've done that, we can then go and actually type the name of the text box. Uh, in this one, it's only going to be text box one dot text. And then we can say text box one dot text equals. And then we can do file reader dot read to the end. And once we've done that, we can go ahead and close it again just to make sure it's closed properly. And once we've done that, we we'll go ahead and run it. And what it actually do is it'll read from the text file. See? And just to make sure that that is correct, we can go ahead and open the original file if you want, if you don't believe me. There you go. And we can go ahead and change that again if you want. Um, new line, for example. So we can save that and read the file again. Look, new line. So, yeah. Um, if there's any other videos you want to see, if there's anything else you want adding, if you've got any questions or anything like that, make sure you leave comments below or check out wilson18.com and I'll make sure I'll get back to you. Thank you for watching and as I said before, I'm sure I'll see you again soon.